If you've been wondering how to send good looking emails just like this that you put together using React, then you've come to the right place. Whoever had the idea to implement emails using React components, honestly, chef's kiss, this is amazing. We'll look at sending emails using Cloudflare workers that run on Hano. Basically, make a post request to our API and an email goes out. Obviously, there's going to be different use cases for sending emails, so depending on that, the implementation or usage of it might be slightly different, but for the most part of it, it'll all just be the same, and I wanna get you through that initial setup phase. If you want to see this with, I don't know, Next.js or something, let me know. And I can make a more general video targeted specifically at Resend, but a lot of things in this video should apply to whatever you're doing. So what is Resend and how do we use it with React components? I want to clarify that Resend isn't a way for you to build your emails. Resend is the way that we take an email and actually send it to our users. That's what they handle, the sending of the email part. With that, it also provides us with a lot of different tools on their dashboard. Like we're able to see all of the emails that we sent out and their status. We can set up broadcasts, which is just taking an email and instead of sending it to one person, we send it to a large group. Think of this as instead of sending a reset password email to a user, you're sending a newsletter or marketing email. We can set up audiences. Again, this is really helpful for something like a newsletter where you're managing an email list and you get access to unsubscribe and all of that. We also have basic metrics like total email sent. There's also custom domains. You'll need a custom domain in order to send emails so they can be sent directly from your domain. There's logs obviously, and something I won't go too much into in this video, they have webhooks. Webhooks are cool because you can set up endpoints in your API to receive updates from recent. So you can do things like storing send events in the database to keep track of, in your own database, of what was sent. Unfortunately though, recent doesn't support retries or deduplication keys. So if things fail, we have to manually retry, or if we send an email, we need to ensure that we don't accidentally send it twice. But that's basically resend. Now for actually building the emails that we're sending and using React to do it, we'll use React email, which surprise, surprise, is also built by the team behind resend. Getting emails to be consistent across different email providers is very tricky, but that's the nice part about a library like this. They handle all of that for us. To get started, we first have to obviously create the project. And to do that, I'll use the HANA template. So I'll do bun create HANA, and I'll just call this CFW React emails. It's gonna ask you some questions. First, you wanna use Cloudflare workers, and we obviously wanna install dependencies, and I'll use bun for the project. Next, we're gonna to wanna to CD into the project, so CD CFW React emails. And before we open the code editor, we wanna install some more packages, so I'll do bun add, and the first one's gonna be resend, so resend. Then we also want React email, and at React email slash components. These are basically all of the components that we're gonna use to build the emails. We can finally open up the ID, so I'll just do code. Now that we're in the code editor, there's gonna be a couple of things we're gonna to wanna to do. So let's just first start with the package.json. There's a few scripts we're gonna want in here, and the first change I'll actually make is do index.tsx, since we're gonna change our index file. This is so we can use JSX for it, but we have our deploy and the dev command. The next one that I'm gonna want is email. So email, this is gonna call email dev, and then it's gonna use the source directory. So source slash emails, that's where we're gonna put all of our emails. And lastly, I'm also gonna want a command to build our emails and the code complete already knows this. It's called email build. It's using again, the source slash emails folder. The only difference that I'm gonna to wanna to make here is I wanna specify that I wanna use bun for this. So I'll just do dash dash package manager and then use bun. Now let's rename the index file to .tsx. And in order to get resend to work, we're gonna need one end variable and that's the resend API key. And to use end variables with Hano, you have to specify your bindings. So I'll just export type env. And all this is gonna have is the resend API key. And in order to utilize that, we just pass it in here. Now to quickly just generate that API key, you just go to your recent account and then through the dashboard, you go to API keys, create API key. I'll just call mine resend tutorial. I'll make sure to delete this by the time the video goes out, but basically I'll give it full access, add this API key, make sure you copy this. You can only see it and copy it once. Otherwise you're gonna have to just rotate the key or create another one. But once I have this copied, I can close that, go back to my ID and the one file we're gonna want in here is the dot dev.vars. Basically what this does is it's able to create private and variables for us. 
if this is your first time using Cloudflare Workers, this is the file that basically allows you to create more private M variables. Otherwise they're exposed and other people can see them. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second, but we're just gonna wanna have in here the resend API key and the value that we copied from the recent dashboard. With that in place, I can close this and I wanna go to my TS config. The one thing you're gonna wanna do in here is just comment out or delete this line for the JSX import source. We're gonna wanna use the React JSX, not the HANA one. Other Otherwise it's gonna cause some issues with React email. So with that deleted, I can just save that. And now we can actually get started with sending emails. The one thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is just make sure that everything's working. So I'll just do a bun run dev. And this is what I meant by the end variable. You'll see here that the value is hidden. Otherwise you could just put it in your wrangler.toml file right here, but it will be exposed. I'm just gonna copy the address, open up a new terminal and just do a curl command to that. And you'll see here, hello Hano. So our API is working fine. We can shut down the server. So to actually get started with resend, I'll make this a post request actually, since we're not getting anything, we're gonna end up sending an email. So the route will also be slash send slash email, since we're gonna just make this kind of like a default email route for now. I'm also gonna wanna make this async and I'll actually delete this line. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is create the resend client. So we'll do const resend is equal to new resend. And we wanna grab the API key from our environment. And also don't forget the import resend. So add the import. So we'll just start off by doing const data. This is just the data that we get back from resend. And then we wanna await resend.emails.send. It's that straightforward. So you have your emails, send the emails. And this is gonna take a few properties. The first property, just like you would with sending an actual email, you wanna have the from. We'll look at how to set up the domain and how to actually send it from an email address on your domain in a second, but for now, we can just do what the documentation does and just call this Acme. Not sure what that is, but it's basically just onboarding at recent.dev. Make sure you don't actually push this to production. It can cause a lot of issues, but for the two property, this is the emails that you wanna send this to. And for now, I'll just send this to myself. So the codebrew at gmail.com. For the subject, this is just the title of your email. I'll put subscribe to codebrew. And for the actual content, you can do a lot of different things. I'll use HTML for this. And as you can see from the autocomplete, you can just pass whatever HTML you want. But for this, I'll just have a P tag, make sure you close that. And I'll just do like the video. Now for the API itself, I'm just gonna return c.json with the data that resend sent back. And that's basically it for sending a super basic subscribe to Codebrew like the video email. We can test this out really quick. So we'll just do bun run dev, copy this URL, go to a new terminal and I'll do curl the address. But instead this time, since we're not just doing a get request, I'll have to do dash X and use post. I got a 404 not found and that's because I forgot to do slash send slash email, but now it should work. And yeah, that's the data that we got back from resend. If I go back to resend now, and if I go to my emails, you'll see that we have the email that was just sent right here. So we have the subject of subscribe to Codebrew one minute ago. And if I click into this, you'll see that we have here when the email was sent and when it was actually delivered. And we can even preview the content of the email. I can also confirm right here that it's showing up in my email. So there you go. Now let's just create a simple email template. And to do that, I'll create a new folder. So I'll call this emails. I'm not entirely sure what to call this. So for now, I'll just call it default email dot tsx we'll just create a regular react component so i'll just do export const default email i'm also going to have the props in here so i'll make an interface call this default email props and this is where it gets kind of interesting with the templates you can pass different properties to the email and those can just get injected into the email template itself so for now i'll just have first name and it'll be a string we'll also type the component and then for first name you'll see that we get that right here. Now for the content of the actual email, I'll have a div and in here h1, and we can just have hello first name. I forgot to do one thing here and that's the reason I was complaining and that was to install the at types slash react package and make sure you install that as a dev dependency. So all I did was just bun add types slash react dash d. But yeah, now we can just take this component and send it. So in here, I'll just replace my HTML and instead I'll do react and we can do the default email component. And for the first name, I'll do code brew. Make sure you also import this. So we can start up the application again. So I'll do a bun run dev. 
I actually ended up running into some issues, so I had to force this on a different port. But if we go back to this and we do a curl command again to slash send slash email with a post request, now the email will go out. Quickly going back to the dashboard, you'll notice here that now this email says hello code brew. And that's because in our template, we're passing in the first name, which in our case, we're passing in code brew. Now to try and send a bit more of a complicated email template, the cool part about React email is they also have some cool examples on their website. So if we go here, there's all sort of like different templates from big websites. So we have AWS, GitHub, Apple, so we can just pick whatever we want. In my case, I kind of like the Vercel one. It's simple, not plugging anything, but to kind of grab this, all we have to do is just go to the code and then we have the code right here. And to get started with that template, I'll actually copy this route and create another one. I'll call this send email slash Vercel. Same thing, pass the API key, create the resend client. I'll change the subject. I'll just do join code brew. And then this is where we're going to pass that new template. So I'll quickly create that. I'll go into the emails folder and I'll create the Vercel email.tsx. We'll copy the code from here into our clipboard and basically just paste it in here. That's about it. But you'll notice it's complaining about some things. For example, the base URL. If you have like a production environment, a stage environment, you might want different base URLs. But in our case, I'll just leave this blank for now. I just want to get this running. And then we have all of these props that we can pass in. Otherwise, I think I'll just use the default values or the preview props. And so with the template to the side, all we have to do is just call Vercel invite user email and we can start passing in props. So for example, for username, I'll just do a code brew. For team name, I'll do code brew. Invited by user, I'll also do code brew here. It's getting pretty confusing, but I just wanna fill this email in. And for the invited by email, I'll just use my actual email. Well, yeah, that's basically it for using this Vercel email template. All we have to do now is just start at the server again. And now instead of doing a curl to slash send slash email, we'll do slash send slash email slash Vercel. So I'll quickly do that slash Vercel. And there we go. It looks like it went through. We can quickly look at it and there you go. We don't have any images because we didn't provide any, but feel free to do that. You can play around with this. But yeah, that's basically the email. And if I go to my inbox, this is the email that just went out and yeah, it's missing the images, but the information is there. Deploying this is actually super easy. All you have to do is just call the deploy command. So I'll just do bun run deploy. And so you'll notice that it provided us with the URL that you wanna use. And if I log into my Cloudflare and we go to my workers, so workers and pages, you'll see here Cloudflare workers, React emails, we can go into it. And the one thing you wanna change in here is go to your settings, go to variables, and we wanna provide the environment variable for the recent API key. In an actual production environment, you don't wanna use the same key that you use in development, but for now, I just wanna get this working. So I'll copy and paste the key that I generated before, but just know you should generate different keys. And so all I have to do is just add variable, paste the value in here, and just call this resend API key. I'll also go ahead and encrypt that and then hit deploy. With that deployed, we can actually copy this link now and do another curl command just directly to that URL. So I'll replace the local host with that URL slash send slash email slash Vercel. And that should go through. And there you go. There's the email that we just sent. It's the same one, the Vercel one, but this actually came from production through the actual Cloudflare worker. But yeah, it's that easy to just deploy this and be able to send emails. Obviously, in most cases, you're not going to just want to have a random route that you send an email to. Your system might be a lot more complicated, but that's all it took to just set this up. And the one thing you do not want to forget about is to change this email. So I'll quickly show you how to set up your domain. You basically just go to domains, add a domain. In my case, I have a domain called codebrew.com. And once I click add, you'll notice here that you have some things that you want to set on your domain. The second part is optional, but the top part, these three values, you want to make sure that you set. And then once you set these, you can just click verify DNS records. If you're unsure of how to do that, you basically just go to wherever you have the domain. In my case, I bought it a name cheap, but I have it running through Cloudflare. So I can just go in here and then you just go down to DNS records and you just basically click add record, making sure that you select the proper types, the host name and the values from here. But yeah, that's basically it. Once you do all of this, you should be able to send emails. So in my case, I could have something like contact at codebrew.com using this domain, and then you should have no more issues. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to make a more dedicated video on resend on how to use it and integrate it into a bigger application. But until then, 